Hello and welcome to my new video. If you're new here, hi, I'm Lex and this is day two. It's actually day three. I haven't time traveled, but this is the third day on my new island Lotus Reef. If you missed the first episode, you should definitely go and watch it. I have started my new island that I deleted Mini Isle for. This is called Lotus Reef. It is a tropical island. I'm thinking like a tropical resort, some kind of really like chic, lovely design. I am so excited to show you what I've been up to. I've been up to quite a bit. So obviously I've been buying things as I went from Nook shopping and just from other things in general. Um, I did visit myself, like the other Lex, to go to that Nook's Cranny. Uh, I've been popping balloons, which if you've been here a while, you know that's very weird for me. I have been doing that. I have been. Uh, and my biggest thing is that I've been fishing quite a bit. So let's, I'm just gonna show, this is just, I've been playing Tetris with these containers. I've gotten almost all of the fish that you can get in June. That's when my uh, game is set to, and it's 7.41 AM. So I'm waiting till I can go inside and sell all of these bad boys, but wait until you see the museum. That's gonna be our first, oh, a shark. That's gonna be our first order of business today is donating everything I've collected for the museum. Okay, sorry, I have to be super quiet when I'm catching things. Oh my gosh, a great white shark. This is my second one of these. The first one I caught like 10 minutes ago. So I'm gonna put this over here to sell. But yeah, I've been fishing like it's my job. Like I get paid for this, which I guess I kind of do in the game. But uh, yeah, super exciting stuff. I am so excited to sell all of this. I'm hoping I'll be able to do the second an upgrade for my house. I did do the like 98,000 one or whatever it is. I did that. So I do have the second upgrade for my home. Let's go look at it. So yeah, this is what I've done with the place. I actually have only bought one song and it was KK Island. How fitting that that was the song available in the Nook Stop that day. Um, so yeah, that's, this is it. This is what I've got going on. Do you like my sunflower theme so far? I've got the rug, the glasses, the hat, the crown. I mean, we're vibing. Anyway, like I was saying, aside from all of those that I've collected for Nook's Cranny, I have gone absolutely wild with the things I've caught for the museum. So we're gonna do that first, but this, First, you've got this little tester here. There's like five things to donate there. But then this entire side of the beach is just full. And this is on top of the 15 things that you have to donate to him to open the museum and the five things you have to give to Tom Nook. I have been busy. Let's look at my Critterpedia. I have no idea how many more um, bugs I have to catch, but fish, I'm doing so well with. Look at these. This is so many for three days playing now. Not even three days, it's like the morning of the third day. I barely played it all today and I've caught this many. Are you joking? I am a pro. Lex Nintendo Play strikes again. But yeah, so I figure we can go ahead and donate all of this. I'm gonna drop all my stuff so that I can actually carry as much as possible into the museum. But I've been so excited to turn all this stuff in because it's really getting on my nerves having it just sitting on the beach, so. This is great. I also will get to walk through the fish part of the museum and it not be empty. I'm excited for that too. Also, while I catch this fish, which is almost definitely a sea bass, I even caught the coelacanth today, guys. The coelacanth. Yeah, look at this bad boy. I have so many sea bass, it's ridiculous, but I refuse to release them. I am gonna make as much bank as possible because that's my goal for today's episode is to actually get enough money to upgrade my house again. I wanna get that done as soon as possible because I know I'm gonna do it to the top possible upgrade for this island. Um, I'm not keeping a small house like I did on Xenia. So yeah, that's something to look forward to. I'll have a pretty little tropical home. I've actually had such a good time like placing all of these things. It has been so enjoyable. Just like filling every nook and cranny on my beach with these critters. I feel like I should get some of the ones that are over here first because they're kind of blocking the way. I even have some fossils, as you can see. Oh, I also gave myself, this is some fossils from Lorien because when I visited, I realized I had a ton of fossils in my inventory, or not in my inventory, in my uh, storage. So I just gave them to this Lex because Hopefully I can even, you know, like casually complete the museum here. I mean, I don't know if I wanna catch the winter bugs, but I guess we'll see, we'll see. Okay, so I've already filled my pockets and I still have all of this to come back and get. So let's give these things to Blathers first. 
He's gonna be so proud of us. We're just gonna give all of these things at once. I am so ready. I have been waiting so long. See the coelacanth, I'm so proud. I'm so proud. Okay, let's grab the rest and then I definitely wanna go into the fish room to see what it looks like just with, you know, two and one quarter day of collecting these critters. I still don't have them all. I'm gonna have to come out a third time to get the last like three uh, critters, I almost said fossils. Also, for those of you who don't know, I'm actually filming this video ahead of time, like pre-filming this, because by the time you see this, I should hopefully be moved into my apartment. Also, it looks like I did get dupes of a few of these critters, oops. Of course, one of the dupes was a sea bass. Like, of course, it had to be one of these. I wonder how much we're gonna make when I sell all of this. I mean, this is kind of a lot and there are some like good things. I mean, I have a whole great white shark over here and I also have a whale shark. So I'm hoping we get a pretty decent amount of bells from this. Just grabbing these last few critters and then I think my goal until Nook's Cranny opens, what time is it? It is 7.50 right now. So for the next 10-ish minutes, I think I'm gonna try to catch the Arapaima because it's available in the river until like 9 a.m. So I'm gonna try to catch that bad boy. That's one that I haven't caught. I also need, of course, the cherry salmon, which is notoriously difficult to get. And I also need the gar, I know for sure. Oh, that was our 100th bug, cool. Here are the last three things to donate right now. Look at my little fish. This pond one is already so full. Look how pretty they are. This is one of my favorite little displays. I feel like the people who made this game did such a good job with the museum design in general. I mean, look at this. Look at that little frog on the lily pad. Oh my gosh, look at them. I don't think I've ever realized you could get this close up view if you just stand here. Wow, 3000 hours in the game and I'm still learning stuff. I keep saying 3000, it's, it's, I'm not at 3000 hours yet. Even these babies, look at them. There's a piranha in there. And I've also already got some stuff in here. Nothing in this one yet, I don't even know. I can't remember what even goes here, but we've got some cool stuff going on in here. Not in here yet. There's so much still to do. And look at this room. All of those before, I think, were uh, pond and river fish. So this is the ocean fish in this room. I haven't gotten moon jellies yet, so there's nothing here. And I haven't gotten a sea butterfly, is that what they're called, yet? So this is empty. They're not available in June, apparently. Look at this guy. I love these little, God, what are they called? Like little snakes that come from the diving. They are so cute. They remind me of SpongeBob, but I can't remember why. Look at this shark. I swear. The museum gotta be one of the best parts of Animal Crossing. Look at everything that I've caught. Look at them go. It's funny that the hammerhead shark is not in this room. I can't wait to continue collecting uh, critters for the museum. Oh my gosh. And even this little like deep sea exhibit has one going. Look at him, ancient boy. Okay, so I'm gonna go fishing. I only have like four or five minutes until Nook's Cranny opens. So not a lot of time, but there are definitely critters that I still need to catch. I know I need the koi from the pond, the arapaima from the river. And oh my gosh, if these fish don't stop moving around, there's probably a lot more, but I can't remember them right now. And then, oh, we could go and look for a villager maybe. Would you look at that? I got the koi. Heck yeah. Not to be a baby, but I wish all the fish were available all day because having to wait for these like time constraints is getting so frustrating. Really hoping this is the arapaima, come on. Okay, actually I'll take this too. This is the Dorado, Um, wow. Also, literally, I have made my thumbs hurt from how much I've been fishing. My right thumb feels like it's broken. I don't even know if I still need anything from the pond at this time of day, but we'll try. Oh my gosh. The fish, bro, the way they move makes me want to scream. Okay, I didn't need this one, but look how cute that fish is. Back to my arapaima hunt. I also planted all of these fruit trees. I really need to pick all my oranges and then sell them on Lorien because I don't have oranges as a native fruit there. Oh yeah, another thing that I've been really good about this time is completing my nook mile stamps. You can see I already have 36,000 nook miles, which is like wild for me at this time of the game. Um, I've definitely been doing some of the nook miles plus stuff all day that's helped keep me motivated to like fish and stuff that's also how i've caught so many critters just following the goals i swear genius genius the nook miles objectives every time i see the large shadow it's one of these and i get so excited that it's gonna be the arapaima see it's another one of these i am so tired the bass in general terrible oh my gosh look at that 
a banded dragonfly. Aren't those expensive? I want to sell you. Come back. I've lost him. Where did he go? Wow, I have well and truly lost track of that guy. Okay, I'm gonna catch this guy as a consolation prize. Oh my gosh, I don't have him yet anyway. I got a diving beetle. His legs are freaking me out. It's another one. I was so excited this time. Oh my gosh, a green balloon. I can't remember what that color means, but we're gonna get it. Oh my god, what are the chances of that? And now it's gonna go over the freaking water. Are you kidding? That was the worst luck. I didn't even mean to touch that tree. Dang it. And now I can't get my slingshot out. I am so tired. This better be really good to make up for what we just went through. Diner dining table. When am I going to use this? You know, I could customize it to a cute color for my little tropical resort. Okay, that'll be fine. Also, I have the goal to catch a bagworm and I've already done that today. So I don't know if I'll even be able to catch another one, but we can try that too. Um, before we go sell everything Nook's Cranny. I'm so curious about how much we're gonna make. Getting a lot of coins today, at least. I caught that one. I did catch it. Oh, we got furniture. A long bathtub. Is it cute? It is cute. Amazing. I'm like 80 trees deep and I'm wondering if I'm even gonna have a bagworm. Also, I didn't even realize there was a pond over here. Or is this a river? Hold on. Oh, it's a river. Let's see if this is the Arapaima. Oh my gosh, we did it. That's incredible. Wow, I really didn't think that I would find it. Okay, I've gotten a whole lot of tree branches and not a whole lot of bagworms. Can they even come down from cedar trees? I'm gonna have to go up to the next cliff level, which by the way, my friend Maria came through and de-weeded the whole island. Well, I guess just weeded. She weeded the whole island, so we stand Maria. She also brought me glowing, not glowing, the vines so that I could use them. Um. I want that ladybug, but if I climb, I think I'll scare it. Let me see if I can climb over here. What if I've already caught one of these? I haven't! Yay, I have a little ladybug now! This is so fun. I love the hunt. Oh my gosh, there's a fish in the clifftop lake. I guess I need to see if it's the cherry salmon. Actually, I don't even think it's time for the cherry salmon. I think I could get the gar at this time, though. Or the the char? One of those. Okay, it was just a dace, but that's okay. I'll come back later. Oh my gosh, I got so excited thinking that was a bad worm, but it was just a spider. I mean, I need that too for the museum, but dang it. The good thing about all this is that these wasps sell for like 2,000 bells each or something like that. So at least I'm getting rich off of the wasps that I caught. Ooh, I also, I don't think I've caught any of the stink bugs. So I'll get one of these. My pockets are full, but I guess we'll just drop like a weed or something. I'll drop this diner table for now because I'll know to pick that up later if I see it. I'm almost certain that I just shook every single tree on the island and I did not get a bagworm. I'm not sure what Tom Nook is expecting from me at this point. I'm also not sure if that's one of the things that like can spawn when you go inside. Like once I go inside can... Oh my gosh, another banded dragonfly. Yeah, come over here. Yes! I think those sell for a lot too. I'm just gonna throw away one of these basses. I don't need them. Okay, I guess we're gonna go donate the things that I did catch to uh, Blathers. And then the one mercy from all of this is that Nook's Cranny is now open. So we can not only sell things, but we can also see what is for sale today. We have more to donate than I remembered. Wow, I'm a pro hunter too. Excellent. Look, I came in here to see the Arapaima and the Dorado in there cuties oh i love this okay i'm definitely gonna have to make multiple trips but let me see if i can drop some stuff i literally could only drop the wasp nest and my tree branches that i have so i'll pick these up so that they're all together at least oh and i can drop this long bathtub for now i definitely need to go back through and pick all of this up and put it in my storage but for now we're just going to See what happens with all of these. Okay, so we're starting out with 13,420 bells. So I guess we'll see how many we have in the end. I'm so sad, like taking down my little Tetris model, how I was keeping it so perfect and organized, but I guess the bells are worth it. Oh my gosh, I came out here to fish because my last inventory to sell didn't completely take up my pockets and I caught a new fish. This is the freshwater goby. Yeah, 
incredible. I just got two pieces of trash in a row while fishing. I think I only have a few more things to get. I have four more to fill and then I'm gonna sell the last and yeah. I just caught another Dorado. I don't know how much they sell for, but exciting. Oh no, and my fishing rod broke. Okay, so we're gonna fill the rest with bugs. I found a gift. The yellow ones can often have bells, so I'm not gonna pick it up right now, but don't let me forget in the future to come back to this. Okay, so all together, we ended up with 150,000 bells um, after selling. It took four times coming in here. I could have done it in three if I had dropped my tools, I think. But yeah, four plus, you know, I did catch some of them afterwards just to have a full inventory. But yeah, so that means we got roughly 137,000 just from those that I had caught. So that's pretty cool. Oh, and this is what Nook's Cranny is selling today. Nothing that I need very badly. I'm gonna buy this just in case, cause you know, like I will have some outdoor areas. So this could be a cute little side item to get. And I'm probably gonna pop, I'm probably gonna buy the pen and ink set here too. And they don't really have any good wallpapers. I think I already have this flooring too. I'm gonna get this one because it's one of my favorites, but otherwise I think we're good for the day as far as nooks, cranny things. Oh, I forgot about this gift already. Let's pick this up. I'll get the shell. Oh, are you kidding? I picked up everything that was on the beach. Let me get something out of here. Okay, let's see what the gift was. Please be bells. Oh my gosh. I guess that's cute though. Okay, whatever. Okay, update. I have cleaned up and I've re-equipped myself with a nifty little fishing rod. I can't believe the twigs took the fishing rod's place. Okay, so I'm gonna go see if there's any way I can pay off my home loan yet. There's a rusted part in the recycling bin. Wow. Okay, I needed you to see this. Between my pockets and my savings, I officially had 169,000 bells and I need like 30,000 more, like 30,000 more, but that's like a whole inventory of fish. Oh my gosh. We're gonna give up on that dream right now. I might pay it later and just not film it, but we're gonna cut that out for the moment. All right, I think that's all I'm gonna do today because I am tired of fishing. My thumb hurts and yeah, that is all I have for you on this beautiful day of the week that I'm not sure what it is yet. Okay, I'll see you all next time. I hope you're enjoying Lotus Reef so far. Make sure you drop any suggestions, any builds you'd like to see for this tropical resort, any custom design code you think I should check out, etc. in my Discord or in the comments. I'll see you all next time, but for now, bye!